Hello everyone, just Goran here and welcome back to another Planet Zoo real life inspiration video. Today we are looking at the common warthog. And just like last week's video, we are breaking from the alphabetical order just a little bit over here because otherwise we would have started with the two worst zoos. So let's start off with something a little bit nicer at Auerhans Dierpark over here. We are on this elevated walkway and next to the tiger exhibit is this warthog exhibit. You can even still see the fence of the tiger exhibit to the left and then the beautiful warthog exhibit in the middle. I love how lush it is along the water side although we do have the more expected barren wasteland in the middle and we also have this view over here through the uh, meerkat exhibit so we actually have our timon and pumba actual timon and pumba habitat and i think there's a gate over there for the meerkats to even go onto the warthog exhibit it was close at the moment but i guess that is a possibility there so that's super super cool love that and uh, not just bootleg timon and pumba like in mix of America, but the actual real deal anyway over here in the other tazoo munster uh, we've got another habitat with some very simple fencing along the sides but still some lushness in here uh, thanks to these parts of um, foliage that are kind of sectioned off with some some cables or whatever those are really nice viewing areas over here i love the rock walls and uh, the glass over there is also really nicely done with the, the logs going over top we also have a nice backstage building with some indoor viewing as well because see the warlocks were chilling over here on the side of it but we can actually look inside and see what that uh, all looks like. So we've got a lot of different sections over here where they can separate the warlocks into. Also a little bit of enrichment, like a brush or a little ball hanging from the ceiling. Uh, and then these, um, yeah, puddles and things. I This exhibit is so lush, it almost feels like it should have been a Red River Hawk exhibit. Like they're from the more tropical parts, while the warthogs are from like open savannas and things. So it almost feels like a mismatch here, but it's definitely a very nice looking exhibit. So definitely nothing to complain about there. Sorry if you can hear my cat licking my hand. That's the thing that's just happening in the background, I suppose. Anyway, next up, we have a Mont Sauvage where we see, uh, we've, we've seen this view quite a few times already because this is for the large savanna, but we're not actually looking at the large savanna. We're looking at this section off bit over here with the rhino because this is actually a shared habitat between the right rhino and the warthog that we can see over there in the fog um, walking further along this exhibit uh, we can see that it's it's fairly large of course it should be for the rhino but the warthogs are also able to access all of it probably even more than the rhinos can because they can the warthogs can easily navigate these rocks and stuff a little bit more but yeah it's a really nice exhibit it's, it's a cool mix as well. This is not the only zoo that mixes warthogs with the rhinos. And here you can see what that view is like from the car if you're doing the car safari. Um, it's very nicely hidden. Like it, You can definitely tell that the rhinos aren't able to get to you, but it still sells the effect uh, relatively well, I suppose. And, and yeah, you can get pretty close up with your car as well. There you've got a little shelter building, um, some nice muddy areas. I guess that's nice for both the rhino and the warthog to, uh, to wallow in the mud a little bit. And in this view, you're kind of dipping down a little bit, looking up at this um, this habitat, which is definitely a very cool view. The only thing I don't really like about it is how obvious that hot wire is along the water side there. But really, that's, of course, that probably just needs to be there. Um, so yeah, really cool. Another thing I want to point out is this fence over here, because I feel like that's not for the rhino. I'm I'm 99% sure that that fence is there. If you remember the hippo video, the, the hippos also had a fence like that. I think... If they open both those fences, the hippos will walk to the backstage or something. But anyway, we're already in the next zoo. We're in the zoo of Antwerp and we're looking at the big savanna uh, of the giraffes and the zebra over here because the warthogs are adjacent to this. I, they've been here for quite a while at this point and they're in these little separate areas over here. Which is not great. I'm, I don't know what the plan here is over here. I don't know if they're going to be let onto this savanna. I don't know if they're going to be let in with the with the white rhinos, which are on the other side. I don't know what the plan is here, but uh, I do hope that at some point they'll be able to leave this tiny little cage because I, I don't know, it's not great and you don't get to see them very well. I mean, you can see them from up here, but it's, it's come on. <laughs> anyway, next up we have the zoo of Osnabrück where we have this cute little building over here, which has the indoor viewing of the Diana monkey. But as we um, pan past that we also have a view outside of this little island over here which um, has the climbing structures for the Diana monkey but also you can see a bunch of things on the ground for the warthog and there is this staircase going down uh, which brings us to the indoor viewing of the warthog over here very similar to what we saw at Münster they've got a lot of areas where they can separate the warthogs from each other and also these little 
uh, shelter things in the indoor area, which I thought was quite cool. And then here's the entire bottom floor of this little building. And there's also some windows again into that same outdoor habitat, but now uh, from a ground perspective instead of a, a more top-down perspective. So yeah, super neat. I quite like this enclosure. Um, yeah, I just think it's cool. <laughs> so next up, we have Parc Animé de Bion. And uh, over here in Bion, we've got a view of the indoor area as well, although it is not as fancy as any of the others we've seen, which uh, I guess we've come to expect from Bion. Uh, how many more times am I going to say Bion today? Uh, here is the outdoor habitat for the warthog. It is very simple and there is not a lot to it. And they've got four little dudes over here uh, who were very cute, admittedly. They were... They were very cool, but I do wish they had a slightly more interesting and enriching home, I suppose. But that's it for me all. Uh, let's move on to the final zoo of the video. This is going to be Paradisa, uh, where we've got a beautiful large enclosure. Again, a white rhino and a common warthog mix over here uh, with some section of bits of foliage, but overall mainly just a large open uh, space, very kind of a, a savanna vibe still. And um, yeah, I love all the logs in the distance, looking very detailed and nice. Yeah, it's simple but effective. I don't really know what else to say about it. We've got a cool viewing area, which is like cropping into the habitat and then many other kind of peaks into it um, from the side. But uh, yeah, I guess the final thing to really mention is over here from the staff road, you can get quite a bit up close <laughs> to it, where you see that the back of the habitat kind of slopes down to make sure that the wall is higher. And we can also see the train choo-chooing by in the background. And uh, yeah, from the train itself, you also get a good view into the habitat. Yeah, it's just really quite neat. I like it. And uh, not much else to say about it. So that's gonna be it for Paradisa, and that's gonna be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed, hope you got some warthog inspiration. Let's end the video with some cute warthog footage from our hunts where they had a bunch of babies. And then I will see you all in the next real life inspiration video. If you wanna have your name featured on this screen and you wanna see videos as soon as I edit them instead of having to wait for the Wednesdays, uh, you can hit the join button and become a member of the channel. Also supports me in buying the zoo tickets I need <laughs> to make all of these videos. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. See you in the next one. Bye. Bye-bye.